welcome to my channel my name is Kim and today we're doing a Valentine's Day inspired look so I really just wanted to get rid of my eyes and I decided to uh, go a little gory so if you want to see how we got here make sure to stay tuned uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give this video a big old thumbs up or a high five that's gross all right stay tuned bye hello <coughs> holy crap I had like a coughing fit right before I got on here. <coughs> it's because I'm choked right now. So tonight we're doing Valentine's Day makeup. Sure to get you. I shouldn't even tell you it's going to get you laid. It's not. If you hear any weird noises, I'm in a new chair. So it squeaks and it sounds like farts, but I promise you it's not me. Odin's taking a big old drink from the toilet. Uh, I've got a runny nose. And uh, I'm wearing horns. We went like, this look went so weird. Hey, Erin. So I'm gonna show you <laughs> the inspiration for this look. And you're gonna be like, what in the F? So <laughs> this is our inspiration. And this is where we're starting out. So as you can tell, we're not gonna turn out looking, looking all cute. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a, an evil look so i really like odin if you unplug my lights you just gotta go you gotta go so i like how her eye is blacked out so that's basically what i took from this look i really like this look but i kind of wanted to try special effects so we're going to get rid of my eyes that's the goal so i bought some cookie cutters i don't know if they're gonna work very well i also have a red hand <laughs> I made fake blood because I don't have special effects stuff. I'm also very cheap and crafty. So I made special effects blood, some fake blood, and um, made it out of food coloring. But I didn't think, oh, Kim, you're going to be red <laughs> for like the rest of your life now. So it is what it is. But I tried to make this scab blood, and uh, <laughs> I put cornstarch in it. It's basically like a brownie right now. Didn't turn out. It's fine. That was like liquid when I put it down there. It smells good. So I made my fake blood with uh, cornstarch, obviously. Red food coloring, um, cocoa powder. So it smells very chocolatey up in ya. And um, yeah, honey. I just threw all sorts of stuff in there. So tonight we're going dark. I don't know where the horns are gonna come in in this look. They just seemed like uh, a good place. A good place to have them was on my head. And I had to cover up the ears because they still had the little Krampus ears. So when you say hi, or when you get on, say hi. <laughs> if you're tuning in and you have no clue who I am, my name's Kim. Um, some of these products are gonna be unique. If you're interested in any of the makeup products, let me know because uh, I can hook you up. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna take my cookie cutter right here, and then I'm going to put some black on it, but I don't know what kind of black I should put on it. Like, kind of lost, guys. Let's put some cream shadow on this. Um, We're gonna use black cream shadow. We're just gonna get the outline of our heart eyes. If it works, it may not work. It just seemed like an easier thing to do to trace on the outside of a cookie cutter rather than trying to get two exact hearts. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Watch this not even work. Okay. And I probably should have covered up my eyebrows, but I didn't, so there's that too. We'll just have to paint them black. Ow, this hurts. Almost made me say a cuss word. Huh. I probably could have did better for you, not gonna lie. It's fine. It's what real hearts look like, right guys? Okay. I'm gonna try and not make this video last too long, but I know once I get to like the special effects, it's gonna take me a long time. If you tuned in for um, the Edward Scissorhands look, we're kind of going to be doing some of that. Oh my God, this hurts. This better not bruise me on my face of Dia. That would suck. Could you imagine walking around with like a red food color stained hand on your 
throat and then like heart bruises around your eyes. I ain't having that. Okay. Those don't even look like real hearts. Well, like good hearts. Real good hearts. I'm gonna stop. Let's get jiggy with it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make my eye wounds. So I guess I should give you my vision. Okay, close your eyes. Imagine me less nasally. So my eyes are gonna be gone. All this is gonna be black. I see your eyes and I want them painted black. And then all this is gonna be bloody. That's the vision. Are you with me? Okay. Odin? Odin is not with us. He is on unplugged duty. You guys ever seen that video that went viral on Facebook where the panda, like the workers at the zoo were trying to clean and the panda keeps undoing everything they're doing? That is Odin, my dog, if you're, if you're new here. Odin's my dog. But that's basically what he does. Oh my gosh, there's still glitter on here. I'm so bad at cleaning my stuff, you guys. But I did finally put it away, so then I had to get it all back out. That was kind of like my birthday present to me as I cleaned my office and makeup room and it was so amazing and it lasted like one full day and then it was gone. So I'm getting a spatula and I'm just digging out the remainder of this glue because I didn't inventory my glue and we're almost out. So I've got good old Elmer's glue. We're going to try and make scars and wounds. We're just going to try and make this thing look disgusting. That's the goal. We want to look disgusting on Valentine's Day. Who wants to look hot? Okay, so just like in our um, Edward Scissorhands video, I'm just going to put this glue stick on my face. It's non-toxic and stuff, so I'd like to say it's safe. Monkey see, monkey do. If you do it and your eyes burn out. I didn't tell you to do it. I can't on stream. Okay, I just want to make this look jagged and janky while still maintaining our line. That's going to stick to my eyelashes. Ooh, on that subject, I went and got a lash perm, a lash lift. I was so nervous because I thought it was gonna burn and I am so sensitive to like lash glue. So I thought for sure it was gonna be like a sheet show. This is, there's gotta be like a more efficient way to do this. Unfortunately, I do not know the more efficient way. So we're just gonna muddle through this. It's gonna take a while. I'm trying to be entertaining in the meantime. Stay tuned. But I got this lash lift. That wasn't a fart, that was my chair. I said that earlier on, but just in case. Um, and it's actually really cool. I don't know if you can tell um, because my lashes are kind of like non-existent. But what they do is they like glue this thing down on your eyelid and then they glue your eyelashes up and then perm and tint them. I love it. I haven't worn any makeup since Friday, I think. It's kind of nice. Oh, this is not working out. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, guys. I have to look in this mirror or else I'm going to screw this up even more. Well, if this is going this well, just be so excited for the rest of it. Eh? Eh? Okay. I think that's because that one is like super old. So I'm gonna get some more glue, put it on my face. Oh, and I can, I can attest, 30 isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought turning 30 was gonna be like the worst thing ever, but it was just the hangover after. <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Hashtag, I'm never drinking again. Am I right? Am I right? That was horrible. I'm trying to get this to like look super goop because I feel like if someone were to cut my eyes out, it wouldn't have like a clean wound. I guess if I get really 
adventurous, I could uh, get some cotton balls up in this BZ, but I don't know about that. I'm not about that life. Not yet. Gonna get my baby hairs. That always feels great. This will dry clear and my nose is running. Hold please. Ugh. I'm gonna be so sticky at the end of this. Cause all of my fake blood has honey in it. And uh, it's just sticky. It smells yummy though. So what's everybody doing on Valentine's Day? Do you celebrate it? I know some people are like anti-Valentine's, which I can understand. It's kind of a commercialized holiday, but what do you normally do for Valentine's? I'm gonna be real romantic and I'm cooking Bo Valentine's Day nachos. <laughs> Cause I love me some nachos and uh, so does he. It works. It'd be like a taco-ish Thursday. Son of a... I remember when I used to wait tables. Valentine's was a fun day to work. Depending on if it was like a bunch of kids on Valentine's Day dates. Cause then it was fun, but you didn't make any money. <laughs> okay. So one wound down. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling like this could turn out? I mean, we've got this hard blood. Like I wanna show you, the fork is literally stuck in there. Somehow we got to get that on my face without it looking like I just shoved a brownie on my face. We'll make it work. Ugh. Ugh. Pretty excited about how this is looking. Hey, Ashley. So I guess I should show you the inspiration picture and what it's not going to look like. So this is the inspiration. And basically I just want to remove my eyes like that. But we're going to make it bloody and hopefully make it look like wounds with glue and a lot of fake blood. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty good at fake blood now. When I did my uh, zombie shirt, which I've gotten so much use out of this shirt. So amazing. It's one of Bo's like old work shirts. I just cut it up and put fake blood on it. Super crafty. But uh, yeah. I basically made the same fake blood for this as I did for my face. That makes everything better. So true. So true. I really wanted to get super gross, but I didn't have time. Because I didn't wake up early to go to the gym, so I went tonight. And then it's like a mad dash as soon as I get home to get ready. <laughs> long as we have a wig on and some contacts, I think we're good. That always means something's gonna turn out right. It might just be that my hair looks good and my eyes look bomb. Can't win them all, right? Okay. This blue glue stick is way better. I can see where I'm putting it. So once this dries, I'm gonna put powder on it. We're gonna try and make it look like, um, we're gonna put purple eyeshadow on it, black eyeshadow, and then we're just gonna black out the inside of the heart. But we wanna make it look like a wound. We don't wanna just like fill it in and pray for the best. Oh gosh, I'm so sticky. Some things you can only say on Facebook Live when playing with a glue stick. Don't say that at home, kids. If you guys ever get into like special effects or if you do Halloween stuff with like latex, get yourself one of these uh, palettes and putty knives. They're amazing. I got mine off Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. Best thing ever. 
You can also like mix your regular makeup in it too. We don't do very much regular makeup over here. Okay. Almost done. I have this black blood. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. I have some black zombie blood. I don't know if I'm going to use it though. I literally got everything that I own that could possibly be used to make this look amazing. Oh, son of a... Bangs in the heart. I feel like I lost my shapes. Maybe this needs a little hump. Hump, 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 hump it up. Don't you need to hump it up? That's not the song. I think that is. On the spot. Boom. This kind of looks good blue, but it's not going to stay that way. I'm going to be a cheap A and put my glue back in my glue stick. Oh, and I keep shaking you. Sorry. Hi, D. Okay. Hercules, Hercules. Let's, let's set these and forget these. Set it and forget it. Ooh, my sponge is like super wet. That's what she said. I think I've said this like a million times in my video. If you use a beauty sponge to apply any kind of makeup, get it wet, wring it out. It should not drip down your wrist like that. That didn't happen. You can wring it out in a towel to ensure that won't happen on live video. Wring it out. You don't want it to do that because when you put your makeup on, you want it moist or else it's gonna soak up your makeup. And if you apply a uh, setting powder, a beauty blender is a really good tool to use. I feel like I need to do my eyebrows. We'll see how they go. If we can black them out with black stuff. I'm real good with the terminology today. My brain is like, It's still reeling from the, uh, the 30 year old hangover. It's been almost a week. I'm still not over it. Okay. Well, that's drying. Let's color my eyes black on the inside. Just like my heart. I'm gonna use, this is Mayron. Mayron. And it's a uh, black. So I basically just want to um, make these eyes disappear and I don't want to get too much up onto my my blue wounds those better dry <laughs> they better dry clear they're supposed to dry clear if not we're gonna have to get pretty crafty more crafty than we already are I'm gonna use my dirty mirror down here dirty mirror I feel like everything makes a weird noise when I do this. I need some chapstick too. Anybody got some chapstick I can borrow? Oh, that'd be great. My lips are like a snake. That does not look like a heart <laughs> what the French toast that doesn't even like resemble a heart just so you know I did use a cookie cutter these should look exactly like hearts well like fake hearts you know what I mean Ugh. I'm gonna just hmm. well that's too bad for me Maybe we could just pretend it didn't happen. Tonight's look is shapes. <laughs> Tonight's letter is F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, close enough. It could, yeah, from this angle, it could definitely be a heart. From this angle, it's definitely not. It's fine. 
we'll fix it. did a better job but it is what it is you guys live makeup I can't write this stuff okay let's see if this one turns out looking like a heart I'm Betty it will not can you pretend to <laughs> you tonight the letter F yeah <laughs> I'm glad somebody got that because I was like hopefully somebody knows what Sesame Street is I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what Sesame Street is. Oh man, I colored out of the lines. Hmm. It's fine. We'll fix it later. Maybe that's why I wore the horns because I knew that this was going to be interesting. So I figured some tape horns would just make it that much better. And my glue is still not drying. I should have brought in a hair dryer. I look like a panda. <laughs> That's not what I was going for. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. We're going to have to figure that one out. Maybe once there's blood, it will be more clear that these are supposed to be hearts. I don't know what's going on, you guys. It's an interesting problem to have. Panda eyes and stuff. Okay. Don't touch your face. Your hand's super red. Okay, so I'm going to try and make the outside look like um, bruises. Your eyes really pop, yeah. That's what I was going for. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a brush from all of these clean brushes that are off camera. Just kidding, they're all dirty. I'm gonna pick a cleaner brush than most of the other stuff. Let's use, um, ooh, I got dog hair stuck to all this glue on me. This color, it's like a raspberry color. It's really pretty for Valentine's Day. It also can resemble bruises, so be careful with your smoky eyes. So I'm going to make this look like, like a contusion, which I discovered today is a bruise, if I understood what Alexa said right. Alexa, define contusion. Just to check. The noun contusion is usually defined as an injury, as from a blow with a blunt instrument, in which the subsurface tissue is injured but the skin is not broken. Bruise. That is your daily lesson from Alexa. So yeah, we're making contusions around our heart eyes. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel the like, the woundness. Can you feel it? I'm sending wound vibes out. Wound. Dude, I use my Alexa so much, I honestly feel bad. Like sometimes I'm like such a snatch bag to her that I start like saying please and thank you that much more and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening to me? The joys of working from home. <laughs> All right. Definitely covering the blue, blue up. I'm getting a little excited. I'm like, where are we gonna put it? It's a surprise. I hope these dry before the video is done because these blue wounds just, they're not doing it for me. I've been trying to think of like a catchy thing to name this. I was like, oh, I can name it like love is blind or I only have eyes for you. And then I thought of some like really bad ones that I probably shouldn't say on camera. But like when I close my eyes, I get big heart ons. <laughs> that was bad. I hope no kids are listening. 
I think I'm hilarious sometimes. Sometimes I take it a little Go overboard. Bit. It's fine. Okay. Fill in the bruises. Now I'm going to throw some blue in there and some uh, purple. I'm going to try and bring the viewers back. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's definitely going to lose me some viewers. But you never know. There's people into some weird stuff. Everybody's got a fetish. Mine just happens to be being on Facebook on Wednesday nights. I wouldn't say that's a fetish. I think fetish is only like... Thanks, you all. I should ask Alexa, but she'd probably like... Gives them the raunchy definition. Oh, whatever. We're going to ask her. Alexa, define fetish. The known fetish is usually defined as an object regarded with awe as being the embodiment or habitation of a potent spirit or as having magical potency. What? Did you hear that? Magical potency. Fetish. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see? The weird things you learn. And I thought it was just people who were into animal suits and doing weird stuff. Right? Yeah. Magical potency. Fetish is no longer a bad thing. <laughs> so weird. So stinking weird. I'm going to use that all the time now just to make people feel uncomfortable. But I will know that I'm not being weird. I feel like this bruise needs a little more oomph. We're going to put blood on it. God dang, my lips are so chapped. I'm like peeling skin off. It adds to the look. And add some purple. These will not be fresh. Well, I guess they would be fresh if they're purple. Fresh to the death. I think Alexa does lie. Alexa, do you lie? I don't lie. I'll always tell you what I know. She doesn't lie. But what if she's lying about not lying? I'm gonna have to like edit my description of this video as an Alexa. <laughs> if you have one, it's gonna go off. I still feel like I look like kind of. I kind of still look like a panda. How can I make these look more like a heart? Blood? Probably. Let's start picking at these wounds. I don't think this is supposed to hurt, but it does. Probably because I have a hairy face. Does anybody else have a hairy face? I feel like, okay, so I shaved my face. I guess I should just put that out there. But, like, not because I had, like, a beard or anything going on. I just like to have, like, seal skin, you know what I mean? But as soon as you shave your face, like, you notice when your hair grows back, like, when you have it, it's not really, oh, this hurts. It's not really like a big deal. Ooh. Um, but then you just like start noticing your peach fuzz growing back. And now I'm like, was I this like furry this whole time? Like teen wolf up in here. And now when I don't do it, I'm like, holy crap. I look like one of those, what do they call them? They're like the seals, but they have like a walrus. That's what I look like. I am the walrus, cuckoo kachoo. Yeah, I feel like if I don't shave my mustache now. So I guess that could kind of debunk if you shave your face, your hair will grow back thicker. No, it just grows back and then you notice it. And I swear that like, it just can grow out to here. <laughs> it can't really, but it's shaved right now. Mm-hmm. I was taking all my close-up pictures for our new skincare line, and I was like, holy molestache, Kim, you gotta get that under control. So my, like, starter picture for my skincare with my bloody hand is, like, me with this hairy face and goatee, and then, like, all of my update pictures are gonna be, like, me with beautiful skin and no mustache. So it's gonna be, like, fake news. People are gonna be like, well, her mustache is gone. It's not her. I promise, guys, it'll be me. I don't think my glue is dry. This side definitely hurts a lot less. I'm just trying to like raise the wounds up. 
actually don't know what I'm doing. I just want this to look more like a heart, and it doesn't. I'm trying not to poke myself in the eye. I probably should have did this before I did all that uh, mm, eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? Of course you do, because you're here. All right, I'm going to put some more of that red, little raspberry, the fresh bruise color. And then we're going to blend this. And then, um, I think we're just going to put blood on it. See how that goes. I'm trying not to look like a panda. Um, but I'm not succeeding. Hi, Lola! I wish you guys could, like, see the ridges. Oh, it still looks purple. Yeah. It really needs to dry. Why? Ooh, I got a glue booger on here. Disgusting. Let's stick that back somewhere. Put that right there. So let's go. Let's go up close. I need to see this. Because I can't see this from back there. So we're just going to contuse this a little more. Ooh, this is a very unflattering light. This is why I always do my videos back here. And nobody wants to see me up that close. Up that close. All right. Let's blend. Blending is my cardio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know where this is going. It seems like it's going very well, though. Okay. What do I do with my life? Let's see if we can um, make this a little more liquidy because that's not going to be anything like what I need it to be. Remember when we were kids, you know, because we were all kids together, um, how you'd make stuff out of cornstarch and like when you played with it, it would, um, would it become hard when you played with it or would it be liquid? I can't remember. What happened when I was a kid? I can't remember. I'm in a weird mood. So I'm basically trying to make scab blood. Um, I taste really good. <laughs> that was gross. Sorry. It smells so good. All right. I need, need some, some liquid up in here. I just licked that like palette knife and I've had it in like a glue stick. Then I just shove it in here and lick it. Mm. My pipe. Well, that's pretty much like what I just made, except I tried to make them bloody. Bloody mud. <laughs> Get it all goop. Goop, goop, a doop, goop, a doop. So you can buy stuff that works a lot better than this. Mm, yeah, where's my pipe? Does it look like blood or does it look like mud? I hope it doesn't like melt with my skin heat. I honestly don't know where this is going, guys. This is an inspired by look. I think this is just gonna drip with all of my face heat. Oh wow. It'll be fun. We'll just like I have other fake blood too that I made. Oh my gosh, it is melting. Look at that! <laughs> Oh, no, this one's coming too. Yeah, you gotta get back up there. This is like uh, not what I expected. Okay, I'm gonna have to lean over my, my table. So apparently, when this gets hot with your skin, uh, it will melt and drip. My eyes are drippy. This is so weird. I can't even really remember what I put into this one. Like, I have other blood, and this stuff is, like, more, like, vampire blood, but, oh, I want those up your blood. Hi, Sadie! Yes, yes. Okay. Let's see what we can do. I'm so afraid it's just going to drip everywhere. That's not really, like, 
the angle I was going for, but I guess um, I'm cool with whatever. You just get, see, I probably didn't even need to do all that glue. We could have made this a 15 minute video, guys, if we would have just known. Betty Crocker in the kitchen can make some fake blood. Oh, that's in my eye. Gross. We definitely don't look like a panda now. We look like a trash panda. Oh, get off my finger. Mother, father. There's like so many cuss words I want to say. <laughs> Give you guys a minute. Yeah! It's a hard on. Just kidding, kids. I don't even know what that is. Well, kids probably do know what that is. I'm mildly inappropriate. Trash panda! That's me. Son of a... That's like a super drippy piece. It's not supposed to drip. This is very hard to work with, too. Piece of paper. <laughs> uh, the struggle is real, you guys. <laughs> I'm like trying to make this not look like Jesus. I'm trying not to look like Jesus, but I'm also. <laughs> this is not going how I planned. My face is too hot for this fake blood. It's not staying where I'm putting it. That's not what it's supposed to do. Just so you know, if you're on here wondering, this is not how it's supposed to go. Okay. So we just gotta work fast so my face doesn't get hot. So far it's taken us three years to do one eye, so I, th I think we're going good. I think there's hope. Hope on a rope. Okay. Maybe if I do it with my fingers. Oh, that doesn't work either. It like just drips so suddenly too. It almost comes on like a bloody nose where you don't know what's going on until, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, if you know, you know. Oh. I am going to be covered in fake sticky blood. Fake sticky blood. Okay. Does it look like a heart? It definitely looks different. Awesome possum, now let's do the other eye. Gross, Odin. Sorry, I had to let that out. I'm a very flatulent girl. Bo's a lovely guy. <laughs> now, I don't know what it is about getting on here, but I get like super thirsty. And I feel like I always have to burp when I'm on live video. I don't know if it's like a nerves thing or if I just normally burp all day and, and I don't I notice it until like I think about people watching me. I don't know. But it is what it is. It's gonna happen. I'm not gonna hold, hold it in. Okay. I think I've got this stuff figured out. out. Kind of, not really. But I think uh I think we might be onto something. Just saying. I don't wanna like talk myself up. I get them from this place on Instagram. It's called Contact Lens Hub. I actually got featured on their website, not once, but twice. I mean, they feature a lot of people, but I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, it's Contact Lens Hub. I think you can get like two sets for like 25 bucks. They're super cheap. I used to think that like these kind of contacts were way expensive, but they're, um, they're super affordable. Like I think I get most of mine when they run specials, like where you can get them for 10 bucks a piece. And they usually always do free shipping. Um, they ship from like foreign places though, which is fine. I mean, they still get here fast. So you just could be putting I mean, like lead in your eyes. I don't know. I'm sure there's like some kind of regulation. I say that, I honestly don't know. 
I need to get like a full closet just for all my wigs and my uh, contacts and all my makeup. It's a little crazy up in here. I need like a makeup room so that I can just like close the door and walk away. <laughs> No, no. This is like the messiest I've, look, I think I've done. Other than my drippy school that I did. That one was pretty messy, but I honestly think this one might top it. You'd think I would learn my lesson. But I did not. Oh, I curled, I curled. Here we go. This is like jelly. Consistency. Oh, did I let go? Okay. Wow. See, I probably didn't need to do the glue at all. This is like textured to the max. Look at this. It really looks like blood. Well, like leeches. Yum. Who's hungry? That's like the second time I've tasted it. It's really good. I bet my liquid blood tastes way better though. Because it's honey, food coloring, and water. And it's really sticky too. Like when I did my hand, it's got some, uh, it's got some, some gunk to it. All right, so I think we're done with the blood part. I feel like maybe this needs a little more love. Do my eyes look like they're removed? I kind of feel like I just have the blood thing going on. Like if my eyes were closed, maybe I need to do more black. I need to get this crap off of my hand. Ugh. I need like blacker eyes. Maybe like set it with a powder. I don't know. I just feel like I need blacker panda eyes. Well, I guess those kind of look like disappeared eyes, but they don't look like hearts. What to do? What to do? out and that kind of helped oh my gosh look at this it's, it's gonna drip or it's just gonna stay there which will be twice as annoying I think it's just gonna stay there look at that yeah that's pretty gross all right kids let's do a little Contusing around here. I feel like it got a little out of the lines. It's fine. Okay. Now let's play with some other blood. So I really wanted like a gory, gory look, obviously. So I'm just going to, um, get gory up in here. So I've got my other blood. Um, we're going to see just how messy we can be. I don't really know how to do this without like making a huge mess everywhere. So I'm just going to make a huge mess everywhere. Let's see if I can do this right. Ugh. <laughs> Son of a we're getting some blood spatter up in here. I feel like I should do a lot. Mm, yummy. Probably made way too much blood. Oh, that's like blood your nose. <laughs> oh man. Thank God there's a black sheet behind me. Not enough blood spatter on my face. This is gonna drive me 
crazy. All right, I'm gonna get some other shirts here. What do we think? Are you like feeling the love vibes? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put some blood in my eyes. Not like in my eyes, but like in this part. Just in case it wants to drip down with the other blood that's dripping down. Get all sorts of blood up in y'all. I feel like everything is so drippy. <laughs> Why is it so drippy? All right, you guys. I honestly think that this is um, done. I feel like I feel like very Valentine'sy. Like I could just go out and frolic. Um, I honestly think that I should probably take pictures before this other blood starts melting off my face. But this is our heart-ish eyes. God, they don't even look like hearts from far away. What the French? Go frolicking. I'm gonna go frolic. I really want to go get French fries, but I don't think this is like a French fry outfit. I feel like poor little kids here would probably have a heart attack. If I came up and got French fries, the only time I've ever gone out was Halloween. I felt comfortable. I went out when I was the Grinch too, but I made bow drive. So it was kind of like I went out, but I really didn't go out. I'm gonna reshape these hearts. I feel like they kind of got lost in all the drips. Gosh, it's so it's like dripping even more. The more I move and like breathe, the more this um it's just super drippy. Do you think we have enough blood? That was my stomach. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take some pictures. I don't know what else to do. I was gonna put lipstick on, but now I have blood on my lips, so. It is what it is. I hope everybody has an amazing Valentine's Day. Um, go make some babies. And I will see you next week. I don't really know what we're doing. I might just start another um, series. And I might not. I don't know. I kind of I kind of dig just like surprising myself and you. So we'll see. I've got some things in mind. Oh, it's like coming down onto my eyelashes now. I've got some things in mind. I don't know if we will uh, do them though next week. We'll do something next week. How about that? Come on Wednesday and you'll see. Happy Valentine's Day. Does it look creepy? Does it look like my eyes are gone? It should. I cut them out with my cookie cutter. Bacon cookies for people. All right, you guys. Have an amazing Wednesday night. I will see you next Wednesday. And uh, have a happy Valentine's Day. Spread the love. Don't go choking people. That's not cool. Unless they're into it. And that would be a fetish, which we learned has magical properties. Or magical something. Alexa to find it for us. So you'll have to like go back. And you'll see. Fetish is not a bad thing. Unless it's a bad thing. I'm gonna go. Alright, bye!